Hey y'all, how you doing? This is Carla Y. Nix with today's inspiration. And as always, I'm just so happy to be here to encourage you and to empower you and to inspire you and to remind you that you can live every day on purpose. Live on purpose. You know, what I really want to tell you today, what I, what I want to impress upon you today and encourage you today to do is to believe in yourself. Believe in who you are and what you are. But most of all, believe in your own abilities. You know, I find that a lot of times we go to others for help, which nothing is wrong with seeking help when you need it. But sometimes we go to others because we don't have enough confidence in ourselves. You know, we really don't believe that we can do those things that we need to do. And then sometimes we become dependent upon others uh, to do for us what we could do for ourselves. Um, nobody knows you like you. If you need something, nobody knows what's in your head but you. And nobody could do a better job for what you need actually than you. You know, only if you're just totally incompetent in that area of something. If it's, if it's, if it's just something that, that's just you know, impossible for you to do. I understand that, you know, like you might not be a plumber. Yeah, call the plumber. That's smart. Get a professional. You know, you might not be an electrician. Call an electrician. Don't kill yourself. I understand that. But I'm just talking about some basic things, some things that you uh, that you that you can do for yourself. Do it. Believe that you can. Why do you think other people are better at it? Why do you think they're better? See, that's what you think, but it, it may not be the truth. So depend on yourself, believe in yourself, and know that you can do a lot more than you give your own self credit for. Pat yourself on the back and know that you can do what you need to do, especially in your work in the area that you are gifted in, the area that, you, that you're that giving responsibility for, the area that you chose to work in. You can do it. <laughs> Otherwise, you wouldn't be in that position. You can do it. Don't give away your own power em embrace who you are embrace what you need and know that you have what you need because it's all it's right here you can do it don't give it to somebody else you do it because God equipped you with it he wouldn't put you in a position that you were not able to do he equips you to do what you're called to do Believe in him above all. Trust him. And then believe in you because he made you. He's the one who's, you know, who, who's giving you the utilization, who, who's giving you the, the, um, the power. Believe in that. Believe in your capability. Okay? Stop being so hard on yourself. Stop putting yourself down. And by all means, stop selling yourself short. Okay? God bless you. Have a great day. This is Carla Y. Nix. There is greatness in you, but you got to believe it. God bless you. Have a great day. Hey guys, how y'all doing? This is Carla Y. Nix with today's inspiration, encouraging you and reminding you that you can live every day on purpose. You know, one day, one way you could do that is to remove some, some things that stand in our way. And one of those things is ungratefulness or to, to be an ingrate. That stands in your way of fully utilizing and, and realizing everything that, that God has for you. Be thankful for what you have. Be grateful for what you have. Learn to cherish what you have and stop worrying about and looking at what other people have, you know, they have this. They have much more than me. They have a better this. They have a better that. They have a better mind. They have more money. They have better children. They have a husband. They have a better husband. They have a job. They have a good job. They have a better job. You know, whatever. What do you have? Number one, you have life. You know, if you're not grateful for nothing else, be grateful that you woke up this morning. Thank God for that. But also, look at all of the things he's done for you. Maybe you don't have what you consider to be the best. Maybe you, you know, are living very basic and, and you can't afford to do a lot of things that you would want to do 
or you don't have as much as other people have or you can't spend it, whatever the case may be, you know, no matter how you belittle it, it's still something to be grateful for because trust me and believe that there's somebody else who is worse off than you. There's somebody else who wish they had what you had. That would you think, uh, you know, isn't good enough. And listen to this as well. If you don't show gratitude, if you don't express your, your gratitude to, to the one who gave you the gift, if you don't thank God, trust me, it will be gone. You don't have to have it. He doesn't have to do what he does. But you need to show some gratitude. And thank people. Thank the people who help you. Thank the people in, in what other form or shape. You know, he's always sending help. And a lot of times that comes through other people. Be thankful and thank them. Thank them for being kind. Thank them for that little act of kindness. Thank them for whatever it is they did. Even if it didn't benefit you, just the fact that they did it, it's probably helping somebody else. Thank them for what they do. Just be grateful. Be grateful. Okay? God bless you. Thank you. Have a great day. This is Carla Y. Nix with today's inspiration.